Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to push a domain from one GoDaddy account to another account. So not to be confused with transferring a domain, but it's actually just pushing um, one domain from one GoDaddy account to another account. The difference in that is uh, minutes of arrival time. Typically with transfers, transfers can sometimes take days um, to complete whereas if let's say you sold a domain and you have a GoDaddy account if you can convince the buyer to set up a GoDaddy account then that'll help your escrow time reduce your escrow time because what will happen is when the buyer makes payment to escrow um, and then it comes time to push the domain you can actually use what I'm about to show you to move the domain from your GoDaddy account to the buyer's account and the buyer can accept uh, that transfer into their account within minutes. So, um, selecting that domain, go to more, begin account change, and then this will uh, show up here. And so, you'll have to have that recipient's um, email address of their GoDaddy account. And so, in this case, I set up a uh, test GoDaddy account using. old AOL email address and then you have to basically say either I have the recipient's customer account or their username and so I've basically set up a, uh, a test account here to push to and then um, what you can say here is select do not change um, the domain's uh, contact information the reason is, is if you try to select enter new details, then that's going to prolong the process. Remember, the goal here is trying to get the domain from one account, your account, to your buyer's account uh, within minutes. And so that being said, choose to not change that and then inform the buyer that they'll need to change that once they accept the transfer in. And then uh, other than that, you don't have to keep the, the uh, current name uh, servers for this domain so click next and then basically this is telling you that anything that's associated with the domain will be terminated services uh, and likewise so go ahead and click finished and it says your request has been submitted changes may uh, take a few moments to take effect and so in the meantime what you could do is you could go and look at your pending account changes um, and it always arrives at income so you'll have to click outgoing account changes and it should list that domain there um, and then other than that what we'll do is switch to another browser to go into the account that we're pushing to so this is the account that we're pushing to so if we go to pending account changes for this then hopefully what you see is the domain should hopefully be in incoming account uh, changes and it is and so you would go ahead and you click accept and then you know that hey I am accepting this you accept and then it says your request has been submitted changes may take um, 15 minutes to, to take effect so meaning that basically change it, it the domain could instantly go into, so if we go to all domains, it could be there uh, when we get there. It also, you know, could not be there. So we'll just change the view just to see. And so, for instance, that domain is not, actually, it is there. So it has changed accounts. Um, and so if we go back to our other when we refresh this domain should be out of our account and so we no longer now if we go to all domains we should only see one domain the KSC dev dot XYZ and one domain and there it is the KSC dev dot XYZ so nevertheless that's how you know if you have a buyer who wants to buy a domain from you and your hope and your register the domain through GoDaddy if you can convince them to get a GoDaddy account then you can follow the steps that I just did when it comes time to transfer ownership of that domain and have it there in minutes 
uh, versus, you know, you're waiting days for um, all these changes to take effect. That's all for now. Um, please, if you have any questions or comments, drop me uh, questions or comments or leave them below the video here. Or, um, you know, you can shoot me an email always at info at kickstartcommerce.com. Also, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. I release a video uh, once a week, and most of these videos are in regards to search marketing and domain investing uh, strategies to grow your business. And finally, please visit kickstartcommerce.com and sign up for uh, my newsletter where I share with you search marketing and dom domain investing strategies and ideas to grow your business. So that's it for now, and I'll see you around in the next tutorial. Thanks.